Well, hello there, stranger. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh my gosh, it's been forever. I'm gonna do basically like a show and tell on the stuff I used on my hair. I use on my hair because um, the last video I uploaded, which is really random, um, a lot of people asked if I can do like a hair regimen regime video for you guys and that's what I'm doing today. I, um, if you find me playing with my hair a lot, I'm really sorry if, if it bothers you but it's like a really bad habit. I just like do it all the time. Sorry. But yeah, okay, I'm going to get into it. So here are the stuff I use on my hair and here is how I use them. So I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so firstly, I wash, okay, I'm just going to say background of my hair. I've cut my hair several times. I cut my hair last um, September 2011. Before that, I cut it sometime in 2010. I can't remember when. And I regularly trim my ends when I get a relax. I like I cut my hair all the time, my hair grows back, it's just the way my hair is. But if I don't look after it, obviously my hair will break. But I try and look after it by um, when my hair is out, because most of the time my hair is actually in a protective style or, you know, it's not out. But when my hair is out, I try my hardest to look after it, even though it's kind of hard sometimes. So once a week, I wash my hair. And I like to wash my hair once a week because this it just works for me this whole regimen or regime or whatever it just works for me and my hair personally so my hair if I don't wash it at least once a week it'll just get really like brittle and hard and I don't like that so I used um, this olive oil shampoo it's an aloe shampoo and it's basically a neutralizing shampoo so when you wash your hair it literally strips your hair of all the products that's in it which i like because i don't want any build up in my hair and makes my hair really really squeaky clean i love it in it so i condition my hair um after i finish washing my hair and then i condition it um during the week as well so if i wash my hair on sunday and i condition it on the same day i'll co-wash it which is basically washing your hair with um conditioner I'll co-wash it um, at least on Wednesdays so or like during the week so I co-wash my hair with this conditioner it's the olive um, organic root stimulator um, replenishing conditioner yeah I, I got the big tub because I run out a lot so I've got the big tub that and it makes my hair this oh my gosh it makes my hair so soft and it smells really really good with my conditioner I do kind of go for Aussie products as well and these are the two Aussie conditioners I use. The Three Miracle um, Reconstruct. Um, yeah, it's amazing. And it smells, it smells so good. Or I use um, the Aussie Miracle Shine Conditioner, which is really good as well. Um, when I'm making my conditioners, I basically get a bowl. I get a bowl and I mix in a lot. Like, the majority is this conditioner. And I mix it with like a cap full of olive oil and um, a little bit of my three miracle, three minute miracle reconstructor and I mix it all together in the bowl and I just work it through my hair and I let the conditioner sit for about 45 minutes to an hour and yeah sometimes I also hot, um, do a hot oil treatment on my hair which is basically I just basically get my favorite oils which is either argan oil, olive oil, coconut oil, or um, castor oil and I mix them all together and I put them all over, distribute it all over my hair from root to tip and I put a plastic bag over my head and let it sit for at least 30 minutes then I wash it out and then proceed to wash my hair I think I might this might get a little bit confusing but I hope you guys understand um, I've done this kind of backwards but I hope you guys kind of get the gist but after I condition my hair um, what do I do? Yeah, after I condition my hair, I basically like um, blot towel dry my hair and then I proceed to blow dry it. Um, I don't air dry my hair because air drying personally doesn't work for me. Like when I air dry my hair, it just gets really, really frizzy and untamable. So, untamable is that a word? You know what I mean. But yeah, so I don't air dry it, I blow dry it. And when I blow dry it, I ba when my hair is wet, I basically get my olive oil. It's just regular olive oil I bought from like the black hair shop. It's probably, I don't know, but yeah. I get my olive oil while my hair is wet and I run 
my fingers through my hair while it's wet with the olive oil and that just kind of like gives it a little bit of shine and I make sure to focus on the ends as well because my ends can get you know a little bit damaged sometimes and yeah and this helps really good to like with shine and just making my hair all around healthy so then when I blow dry my hair I blow dry it downwards like basically to get this kind of style blow dry it downwards and yeah I make sure to put heat protectant on it while I'm blow drying and I use this heat protectant on my hair and um, it's the Tresemme heat, heat protectant and um, when I blow dry my hair I don't blow dry it on the highest heat I blow dry it literally on the lowest heat and I make sure it's on cool air as well so let me show you I use this regular hair dryer by the way my mom bought it for me it's nothing special um, so I make sure it's on low and I press the cool heat cool cool shot button so it's really cold when I'm blow drying my hair so my hair doesn't get damaged okay so after I do that after I blow dry my hair um, I then put some more heat protectant on it and then I put this um, straightening hair polish um, while my hair is um, what do you call it frizzy <laughs> and I put that I spray like a little bit on my hand rub it together and work it through my hair and that basically um, is like a heat protectant as well and then I proceed to straighten my hair um, I just use regular hair straighteners to straighten my hair this is actually my friends but um, yeah just regular hair straighteners nothing special I don't use GHDs or anything so um, yeah I straighten my hair and then after I straighten my hair these are the results I get um, it might look like my hair is like all healthy and stuff but really I, re I realise I don't know why but I realised that my um, fringe is getting thinner I don't know why because it didn't used to be this thin but hey it's life but um, yeah it's probably because after, when I had exams I didn't do anything to my hair I just literally left my hair alone I didn't look after it at all so it probably started breaking from then but um, now I finished my exams I have time to look after my hair I forgot to add I don't straighten my hair every day yeah every night before I go to bed I make sure to moisturize my hair and I moisturize it oh, sorry I'm really this must be so annoying but sorry yeah I moisturize my hair using the olive oil moisturizing growth lotion um I don't know I just found it in the hair shop and I was like ah whatever and I just bought it but it's really good um and then to seal my moisturized hair I either use my olive oil or my argan oil or my coconut oil it doesn't really matter it's just whichever one pleases me on the day um, and then I wrap my hair um, basically to wrap my hair I like brush it all down I'm not gonna do it now cuz I don't know <laughs> I brush it all down and then I just like make it into like a wrap I will show you later on but I make it into a wrap and then I get my um, hair I get my scarf um, it's a silk I get a silk or, or satin scarf so um, the moisture isn't all soaked up and my hair doesn't get dry so I get my scarf and I wrap my hair and I just go to sleep wake up unravel the wrap and that's it um what else was I gonna say um I also use um because my edges have been broken off from my Senegalese twist like I said and I use castor oil to try and get yeah to try and get my edges back but I don't feel like this castor oil is that great. I mean, it does kind my hair, my hair's kind of growing back, but I want to get the actual Jamaican black castor oil, so I'm gonna get that very soon. Sometimes on my edges, I use the olive um, olive oil edge control, and it's all right. But sometimes it's just a bit flaky. But I do use a bit of water on it so it doesn't um, flake off or whatever. And if I want to put my hair in a bun or just like have it up. I would use my um, organic root stimulator smooth and hold pudding and this makes it like stay like stay <laughs> um that's basically it i don't know that's all i do to my hair and when my hair is not out i mostly have it in senegalese twist as you guys see all the time and um either that or weave or i don't know my hair's just not out that much but i'm trying to like look after it um, I'm not too fussed about like my length or anything 
I don't care if my hair doesn't grow long, I just want my hair to be healthy. If you guys have any questions about my hair, feel free to comment. I'll be doing a video um, show it, like demonstrating how I actually get my hair like this. So don't worry, that'll be out very soon. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.